And from Los Angeles, California, the Loyola Marymount University Lions. Now let's meet the starting lineups. For Loyola Marymount, at forward, a 6'6 senior from Riverside, California, number five, Mark Armstrong. For Wyoming, at forward, a 6'5 senior from San Antonio, Texas, number 34, Fennis Dembo. For the Lions, at forward, a 6'7 senior from Chatsworth, California, number 20, Mike Yost. For the Cowboys, at forward, a 6'6 senior from Evergreen, Colorado, number 54, Jonathan Summers. For Loyola Marymount, at center, a 6'7 sophomore from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, number 44, Hank Gathers. For Wyoming, at center, a 6'11 senior from Manhattan Beach, California, number 43, Eric Lechner. For the Lions, at guard, a 6'4 senior from Los Angeles, California, number 11, Corey Gaines. For the Cowboys, at guard, a 6'4 junior from Maywood, Illinois, number 20, Robin Davis. For Loyola Marymount, at guard, a 6'5 sophomore from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, number 30, Bo Kimball. And for Wyoming, at guard, a 6'4 junior from Baldwin, Michigan, number 25, Reggie Fox. And a head coach for Loyola and they gave up 366 points in three games. I mean, this guy, Paul Westhead, has got the most unique style in America. Louis Grillo, the referee, and the opening tip goes to Fennis Dembo, Wyoming. Cowboys in white. Loyola Marymount in there, maroon trimmed in blue. This is Dembo working against Hank Gathers. Loyola will really jump you now. This is the game right here. Next year. And the big 265 pound center gets the first two points of the ball game. Look how fast Loyola comes down. We want to keep track how quick they shoot it. This is a record. They've used seven seconds. They sometimes get it away within two. There is the first two pointer of the ball game for Loyola. Mark Armstrong, who's a pretty unlikely scorer. He only averages 7.2 per ball game. He's more of a rebounder than he is a scorer. We're tied at two. Bet on one thing. A guy named Sean Dent will be in here soon. Benny Deasy is very superstitious as we have the foul. He won't start Sean Dent, but uh, his uh, quip was, you'll see him before home of the Brave is played. Sean Dent can handle the press. Mark Armstrong, number five, picking up the foul for LMU. The Lions are averaging 110.4, but they're giving up 95 per ball game. You know, it's like a guy who swings the bat in baseball. He's dangerous. And Paul Westhead will just flat tell you, if we get up between 80 and 100, if you can beat us, so be it. Well, here's a fellow who is from a... City that's only a stone's throw from the Marymount campus, Eric Lechner, who is from Manhattan Beach, California, and he now has three points. It's three to two in favor of Wyoming. Frank, this guy's got a great pair of hands. He can play with his back to the basket. They'll front him today with no backside help. What they'll try and do is jump him out front. Here comes a numbered break every time. Corey Gaines. <laughs> Took him about two seconds to take that one from coast to coast. Transfer from UCLA, and he was the good one there until Pooh Richardson showed up on that NIT champion. We played one minute with eight points on the scoreboard, equally divided between LMU and Wyoming. 4-4. This is Dembo working against Gathers. Look at him front of him, and there's no chance. He could go for 40 today. All right, now I'll tell you what happened. Now I'll tell you why Westhead is so upset. A Wyoming kid put his hand on the basketball. They can't play, talking about Loyola, if the officials permit him to do that. They've got to leave the basketball alone or it'll kill Westhead's offense. This is Corey Gaines. Slipping and falling for a moment was Reggie Fox. Quick basket by Mike Yost. Yost, a 6'7 senior from Chatsworth, California. And we're tied again at six. Here's the steal by Corey Gaines. Hank Gathers, their leading scorer. Hank the Bank, they call him. Stepped out of bounds. This is where they do such a great job. Their defensive pressure, even though they'll give up to 15 to 20 layups a game, it turns the basketball over so you can get some transition buckets. Score they time, double. Six. Let the call timeout. Did he get it within time? Yeah. Yes, he did. Wyoming. Boy, it was close, though. Can handle the ball better than anyone. All kinds of problems with this pressure. Took him only a minute and 37 seconds to get Sean Dent to the ball game. And here was the almost steal by Hank Gathers. 
Lechner from 15 feet. He has eight points, and we still have not had a missed shot in the ball game, and Wyoming leads it 8-6. The only problem with Lechner are his speed on defense. All right, we got a foul on Den as they take it to the hole. This ball club, i got to tell you something, Frank. You know, a lot of coaches are not willing to give up control. Westhead is. You give up a little control with this, but look at this. Look how quick they get into it. Coast to coast, Oregon State beat this ball club by shutting this guy out, and I think that's the key. I think you've got to go after number 11. 24 games in a row, the Lions have won. The shot missed by Bo Kimball. On the rim. On the rim, offensive goaltender. That's what Armstrong does best. Strong rebounder, and he goes the offensive glass very good because people get down the court, they forget the block out. There's a home run. Length of the floor, the guy they call the warrior, Jonathan Summers. See, I didn't know if he'd be able to play in this game, Frank, because he's a great post-up defensive player. He has problems out front. This team doesn't use a post. They flash. That's the first two points scored by Wyoming by anyone other than Eric Lechner. They lead by four, 10-6. And Dent has picked up his second foul. Well, if you're going to get one, get a good one, huh? He really did, didn't he? <laughs> Sean Dent is a 6'1 senior out of Trenton, New Jersey. Yeah. Take a look at this, boy. Whew. I'll tell you what. That looks like Mike Singletary of the Bears. Frank, look around. Look at the crowd. They're all on the edge of their seats. Anticipating this one. Well, check blood pressures right now. This is going to be a stress-filled game for the crowd. The last time these two teams played was exactly two years ago today on St. Patrick's Day. Yost missing inside, and a foul on Yost trying to get the rebound. So Mike Yost, who a year ago was the leading scorer in the WCAC, this year is only the fourth leading scorer on his own ball club, averaging 17.6 a game. Well, he's got a lot of people in front court. That means that you can double and jump. And it it uh, looked like a little bit of a football lineup, didn't it there? Look at this, another pick. And his Dembo had his pocket pick, but got it back. A lot of pressure by Loyola Marymount, and they pick up the foul. This one charged to Corey Gaines. That's three against the Lions in the first two minutes of the ball game. Excuse me, Frank. This could turn into a free throw shooting contest. We look at Benny Dees. He's done a great job. All kinds of pressure when he took this job. Great expectations. Ranked fourth in the country. That was too much for this team. They uh, slumped. They egged his house, and then all of a sudden, Benny got him going. Won 13 of the last 14. Lechner to Denbo. It is a 10-6 Wyoming lead. Weak side rebound taken down nicely by Robin Davis and gets the pick one. This kid came from an Oklahoma Junior College, started out with Norm Stewart at Missouri. He can play. And here's the steal by Dembo, and he'll shoot it ahead to Dent. And it's 15 to 6 Wyoming. This is where Wyoming has been at their best this year. They're lethal on turnovers. Here comes Loyola right back at you. We're three minutes into the ball game, and Wyoming has the 15, and Marymount has six, eight. Gathers gets his first basket of the day. Four well, separate players have scored for Loyola Marymount. Frank, all I heard when we checked in is this Loyola's too small to rebound. That's baloney. A transition team always gets offensive stickbacks because nobody blocks out. You're just happy to get back. Lechner didn't get it. It was taken away from him by Yost. Corey Gaines on the run. Former UCLA performer. Foul from behind, and Lechner... Oh, no, it's going the other way. Player control foul on Corey Gaines. All right, take a look. Here's the jump switch. Summers, who was offered a football scholarship by every Big 18, chose basketball instead, sacrifices the body, gets rewarded with a charge call. Now, here's an interesting case. Look at all the people on the baseline. This is an NCAA tournament. There's a lot of photogs. That means you don't have any room. Psychologically, it's tough. Here comes three people in for Benny D's. You can't move after this uh, situation. You can only move the baseline, run the baseline after a basket. Kirk Floyd is the fellow who's coming to the ball game number 24, along with Mike uh, Dave Lodgins. It's a 14-8 Wyoming lead. We've played three minutes and 34 seconds. They'll triple you too. You got to, boy, you got to be careful with this bunch. Kirk Floyd getting the ball up at the floor to Willie Jones, who's in the game now, number 32. This is Robin Davis. Jones barely hanging on to it. Dennis Denbo. Two more for Robin Davis. Well, I'll tell you, Paul Westhead beside himself. A Wyoming kid touched the basketball again for three, but it will not go. Almost put back. Still left it, and getting the put back was Mark Armstrong. 6'6", senior from Riverside. 
You ever seen anything wilder? 16-10. <laughs> we knew it was going to be like this. Wyoming has the 16 right now with 15-38 to play in the first half. Winner of this game will play North Carolina. Carolina beat North Texas 83-65 in the opening game here today. Timbo wants the ball down low. They didn't spot him. Dave Loggins missing the hook shot. Now we're going to get Gathers back in the ball game, and for the first time, Jeff Fryer, who is their three-point specialist, coming in for Loyola Marymount. Betty D. And Eric Lechner will come back onto the floor. Rodgin sits down. Robin Davis gets it inside, outside, really... Jones in the uh, guard spot. Let's get they get it to Dembo. Dembo wants the basketball. He's as nasty as it. There he is, wide open. Good pass. I'll tell you something. This Dembo's got a basketball body. He was a split in, good enough to be offered a scholarship by New Mexico State. Look at the action. Kirk Boyd going to try to run it down. And did. What a great maneuver by Kirk Boyd. Kirk was a starter last year, lost his spot to Reggie Fox. It'd be important in this game. He's a better ball handler. At the other end of the floor, badly off the mark was the shot by Corey Gaines. Right now, Irvin, it appears that Wyoming is beating Loyola Marymount at its own game. Wyoming has done a very good job. Benny Dees has substituted intelligently as we get a look at Paul Westhead. Can you believe when Paul Westhead was considered uh, uh, too much of a pattern coach when he was with the Lakers? No. Isn't that amazing? I'll tell you something. This guy's going to be one of the hottest people going. A lot of folks going to want to play this kind of style. Want to talk to him during clinics as we get another deuce. Mark Armstrong has six of the first 12 points for Loyola Marymount. And as I said earlier, that's very untypical. He is the only guy in the starting lineup averaging under double figures. They should punch it inside. Double post with Dembo and Lechner. No answer for Loyola because they'll front. No backside help. Lechner had a kick out of his hand. Wyoming making a substitution now. Reggie Fox coming back in and coming back in for LMU is Mike Yost. We got to look at Benny Dees. He played at Wyoming himself for Ev Shelton, Hell's Half Acre. Now, how could you not have a good program with a gym named Hell's Half Acre? <laughs> 20 to 12, Wyoming in front. We have 14-24 still to play in the first half. Ball tipped away from Lechner and winds up in the hands of Loyola Marymount's Enoch Simmons, number 32, is in the ballgame now. Here's Fryer. He's their best three-point shooter. And Fathers may have walked. Nope, he was fouled. Fouled inside, I believe, by Willie Jones. Our officials today, the referee is Louis Grillo from the SEC. He worked the Final Four last year as we look at Benny Dees. Frank Scaliata from the Big Ten and Ted Hillary, the PC2A. The team fouls now, three against Wyoming and four against Loyola Marymount. Remember, these two teams both have winning streaks going. Marymount's 24 is the longest in the nation, and Wyoming's won nine in a row. Blocked by Fennis Dembo. And the ultimate insult by getting the jam at the other end. That's where they are lethal. All right, now let's see if they got a technical right now. Westhead is going wild. Paul wants the basketball left alone. He's got a point here, Frank. This is his game. He wants to get it up and down. Turnovers are even at three apiece as of right now. We've got a whistle, the foul away from the ball. Wow. Wyoming. It's on Fennis Dembo. That's his first. All right, let's take a look at Fennis. All right, here's the long pass. Now watch Dembo as he goes up for the jam. And this is where Westhead really gets upset because they touch the basketball. They want the ball to be left alone. Their game is strictly transition. It's a numbered break. There's no pattern. All they do is look for three, then they swing it. Lazell Williams comes in the ball game now for Wyoming as Gathers has his shot block. But the put back, the attempted put back is short. And it'll be Yost of Merrimount. And I believe Clausel Williams tied him up. And the audit of possession rule will find the ball belonging to Merrimount. Tell you, Wyoming likes to turn it into a fist fight, but these Loyola Merrimount kids are backing down, Frank. It's 22 to 12 in favor of Wyoming. There it is, shirts and skins. You think they're not competing? It's a stress-filled game. I like it. Live action again. In the ball game now is John Ferguson, number 42 for Loyola Merrimount. Big 6'10 junior out of San Jose. That's Ferguson right there. This is Jeff Fryer. Corey Gaines. 
Right about third ball. Wyoming's gone matchup. They play it decently. Fires three, misses. Luckner with the rebound. Cowboys up by 10. 13 15 to play in the first half. They want to use some clock, but they haven't been able to. Loyola just jumps you so much. Sometimes by getting an easy shot, it hurts you. Dirk Boyd working against Jeff Fryer. Lazell Williams. For three, the shot missed by Wyoming's Reggie Fox, but they get it right back. This is Turk Boyd. Willie Jones. Skip pass over to Reggie Fox. One pass, maybe too many, but Lechner got it back and blocked by Gators. Hank Gathers at 6-7 blocked the shot of Eric Lechner, but the ball comes right back to Turk Boyd. It's going to count, and he's fouled. Fouled by Bergeson. So Turk Boyd comes off the bench to get his second basket of the ball game. Fouled by Bergeson. That is team foul number take, five. Take a look at Turk Boyd. Could be the best athlete on the team. Splits the scene, goes up. This guy can flat play. Supposed to play some football this year. He was at DB in high school. I like the way he finishes, Frank, just like he did right there. This is the biggest lead now for Wyoming. They're up by 12 as you look at their coach, Benny Dees. Let me mention something, though. I'm looking at Eric Lecter in the backcourt. He's got his hands on his knees. It's just like when a guy hurts his arm in baseball. He takes a glove off. A guy puts his hands on his knees is sucking for air. Lechner is tired, and we're not even halfway through the first half. Wyoming has hit all three of its free throws. They're three out of three at the stripe and have their biggest lead now, 13 points. And so many of the Maryland shots are coming up short. It's 25-12 with 12-17 to play in the half. Wyoming of the Western Athletic Conference. Maryland, Loyola Maryland of the West Coast Athletic Conference. Pryor comes out of there on the turnover. Beats it to Corey Gaines. And as Gaines went inside, he is fouled, I believe, by Reggie Fox. Foul. Corey Gaines, three years at UCLA, and he was the pivotal part of that Bruins NIT team. Take a look. Here he goes. I thought this would turn into a free throw shooting contest because you're going to play just like Loyola. You're going to grab and scratch and hunt and pet. Gaines can play. He's 37. Excuse me, Frank. I was going to say, Loyola's pretty good free throw shooting team, 70%. And Corey Gaines, a 67% free throw shooter himself. That's the first free throw that Marymount has had today. Three points for Corey Gaines, who averages 17.8. 25 to 14, 12 minutes to play in the half. What a pass from Boyd, and he got it back, and Fox puts it in. Right back at him, here they come. Gaines to Yost. He got the basket, and he was fouled. Is that something? We had two hoops in six seconds as we look at Paul Westhead. Here's a guy. Uh, let's take a look. Look at this split by Yost. As he goes in, this guy led the league in scoring last year. This year, he's fourth. I feel sorry for you keeping score, Frank. Tough to put that pencil down. Let's take a look at the other end. Boyd is going to miss the layup, but watch Fox with a stick back. It always happens in transition. No one blocks out in transition. At the free throw line is Mike Yost, the 6'7 senior from Chatsworth. After making the basket, trying to complete the three-point play. Does so. So nobody has missed a free throw. Each team three out of three at the stripe. It is 27 for Wyoming and 17 for Loyola. That might change right here. Gathers gets his first and second basket of the day. And Gathers has four points. And the foul is charged to Wyoming's Turk Boyd. There's a, an errant pass, not a good decision by Boyd. There's Armstrong, who's been a major force early. Goes up. Hank Gathers, I should say. Let me correct myself. He gathers off the glass. One more cover. Final score from the Midwest Regional. Memphis State defeats Baylor by a score of 75 to 60. Gathers at the strike. That's the first missed free throw of the day. It's still 27 to 18 in favor of Wyoming. Watch Lechner with the jam. Now, Eric really isn't a shot blocker. A little off balance that time with the shot. Eric goes up and sticks it in the cheap seats. Corey Gaines 
Beautiful pass to Gathers inside. What a pass. Well, that shows you why that guy has better than eight assists per ball game. He's fin finished in ball. Nice. Another fine assist at the other end. The basket going to Robin Davis. Once again, Paul Westhead is beside himself. They're touching the basketball. Look at him. That's what Gaines is talking about right now. Let the basketball alone. That's the only thing Westhead asks of an official. Mark Armstrong shooting and missing, but Gaines gets the long rebound. For three. Rebounded by Gathers. Put back nicely, I believe, by Mark Armstrong. Armstrong leads all scores with eight points. You can see why they get 80 shots a game. They get a lot of stick backs. 29-23, Wyoming by six. Boy, was that an acrobatic move by Robin Davis. He has eight. Look up, Frank. Here they come again. <laughs> Corey Gaines inside. Dimbo gets the rebound. The San Antonio takes it ahead to Robin Davis for two more. And they are simply out winning Wyoming. <laughs> I'll tell you what, there's some guys out there dragging three-pointer. <laughs> that is the first three-pointer of the day for Bo Kimball, and it becomes a three-pointer. It don't matter. Bo has no conscience. He once missed 11 straight, ended up with 23 points. He just has a green light from West End. 33-26. We're exactly now at the halfway point of the first half, which would mean that one team would score 66 here in the first half if it happens. Third point. Weak side rebound to Mike Yost. Corey Gaines, their playmaker. Three-pointer again for Kimball. Lechner and Turk Boyd winds up with it. Oh, well, Lechner's Lechner gas. He's got to yeah. he get out of there. there. In fact, five players are sitting down ready to come in. Four from Wyoming. It is a 26-33 ball game with Wyoming out in front by seven. Bennis Dimbo inside for the goal. Jonathan Summers, his second basket. You know, guys looking in who are scouting uh, these two ball clubs in case they meet down the road. If you're playing Lawler, you got to shut off number 11. He handles the basketball and the numbers break every time. Another inside rebound by Mark Armstrong in an attempted putback, and he's fouled. Armstrong, the 6'6 senior from Riverside. Lechner is hurting. Remember, he's a big kid. He weighs 265 pounds. He picks up his first foul, and so it'll be a two-shot foul for Mark Armstrong. From Riverside, California, Riverside shooting two would be his ninth and tenth points of the day. Came in averaging only 7.2. Their leading rebounder, or second leading rebounder, with 8.2 a game. Loyola was trailing Santa Clara 75-60. There was 11 minutes left to play the game. They won it 94-93. This team has scored 140 points or more on three occasions this year. Well, the free throw shooting has been terrific. Four out of five for Loyola Marymount and three out of three for Wyoming. Well, Dembo just walked in. That's a, that's a free pitch. Dembo lost his concentration and his discipline. There's another one coming. You know, he didn't just fall into the lane. He just kind of walked in there, Herb. That's the wrap on Fennis. He's got everything you need except concentration. Another second time. Three to make two here for Mark Armstrong. Nine minutes and 15 seconds to play in the first half. Dembo gets the rebound. 35-27. Wyoming with an eight-point lead. They've led all the way. In our first game here today, Carolina had 40 at the half. They led North Texas State 40 to 24 at the half in a game that they won 83-65. We've got a timeout right now. Eight minutes and 57 seconds left to go. It's still 30 minutes from the Western Athletic Conference, 35-27. And Gathers gets the pass in and shoots it ahead to Corey Gaines. Willie Jones trying to run him down. Can't do it. Gaines has his second basket. I'm Frank Fennell, along with Earth Brown. Eight minutes, 44 seconds to play in the first half, with Wyoming out in front, 35-29. And we get a whistle and a foul inside, and Fennis Dimbo has just picked up his second foul. The electric man has two. And we're into the bonus. Let's see if Benny Dees gets him out of there. 8.38 left in the half. Free throw's coming. The lead is down to six now. It has been up as high as 13. 
8.38 to play. Wyoming got out in front early, and they have led by 13 points. It's now 35-29. And Mark Armstrong, who's been a big scoring surprise, will try to cut it down. You know, we, uh, we saw that Benny Dees and Paul Westhead. Paul Westhead was the assistant softball coach on his girls' team. He couldn't even get the hedge out there. <laughs> I think he has a daughter who is a high school basketball That's right. coach, too, doesn't he? When Loyola makes a change from Ed Gordon, they hire Jimmy Lyon. Jimmy jumps to the pros, and they give it to Westhead. And now he's one of the hottest things in America. Mark Armstrong going for his 11th point of the day and got it. He's three out of four at the stripe. He leads all scores. Very improbable. 35-31 now, Wyoming by four. That's Sean Dent with the ball. Willie Jones, Dennis Dembo. We're down to 8.24 in the first half. Winner will play North Carolina. Valiant effort by Jeff Fryer, but run down by Reggie Fox. Dembo from eight feet, wouldn't go. Marzell Williams with a good rebound in the play. You know, he's been coming on. All right, here they go. Once again, the ball is always in Gaines' hand. Right side, numbered break. Nice. What a pass into Gathers. But there's a foul, I believe, on Gaines. That'll be his third. Frank, any time you leave the ground, you don't shoot the basketball, you're in serious trouble. That's what happens on penetration. That's why I've always admired Denny Crump's team. Louisville, when they go up, they go straight up. They don't pick up the charge. Do the best job I've seen in this country. Irv, right now, I would think Westhead has some problems. His point guard, Cordy Gaines, has just picked up his third foul with 7.57 remaining in the first half. That is a problem because he has handled the basketball every time on that numbered break. Mazel Williams shooting the one and one. Williams so far this year at the free throw line only 61 percent, 16 to 26. Wazell Williams, 6'8 junior from Detroit. Well, the teams have really been shooting their free throws well. Wyoming has not missed their four out of four at the strike. I would say if uh, Loyola is going to really stay tough the rest of the half with gains out with three fouls, Bo Kimball is going to have to get hot. 38-31, big rebound by Mark Armstrong. That's the first free throw that Wyoming has missed. 108 minutes to play, 38 for Wyoming, 31 for Loyola Marymount. Bo Kimball for two. He's doing it, basket. This ball club's undefeated when Bo plays. He had a fractured kneecap. Oh, nice effort, but he gets the foul. Bo Kimball commits the foul on Penis Dembo. Kimball's first. That is team foul, number seven. Take a look at this. Fennis Dembo, the All-American candidate, goes hard to the hole. Here's Bo Kimball, the transfer. Nails him pretty good, and then they have some words. One more time, it's worth another look. Sean Dent, the playmaker with the pass. Dembo with the soft hand, goes up, and then Kimball nails him pretty good. Dembo, a great player at San Antonio Fox Tech. Dembo will be shooting a pair as he was really hammered a moment ago. He has only four points, but that has put Fennis over the 2300 mark. He came to this game with 2297 points. He's already the all-time leading scorer and leading rebounder, a number two assist man at Wyoming. Missed a couple of free throws and it remains 33 for Loyola Marymount, 38 for Wyoming. Three-pointer by Fryer is left for the bottom. This kid can shoot it. He is their best three-point three shooter. 76 out of 188. Other end, Fryer again. Didn't get it. Third boy gets the rebound. Two-point ball game. Wyoming 38 to 36. Stolen by Willie Jones. Lechner. What a look on his face. And he's fouled by Mark Armstrong. Boy, did he want that basket. He's improved so much, it's incredible. I sat here last year during the NCAA tournament and uh, talking to Jerry Tarkenian about this guy as he shows those soft hands, turns around and makes it. And Tarkenian says, where's this guy from? He said, California. And somehow, Tark, who recruits California pretty good, didn't know about him. That's how much his kids improved. Now back in the ball game for Loyola Marymount is Enoch Simmons, you saw just a moment ago. 
and he'll be the guy, Frank, who gets the basketball on the right side. I'm waiting for Wyoming to choke him off. They always go. This time they go on the left side because it's a missed free throw, but they always go on the right side, the number three. That basket by Lecter a moment ago was his first since he scored the first eight points of the ball game for Wyoming. Kimball inside. Yost puts it up and in. Mike Yost has seven points. And it is now a 40-38 to 38 Wyoming lead. So a 13-point margin has been sliced down to two with six and a half minutes to play in the first half. And they're shooting under 40%. It just shows you what this style will do to you. And at last check, Wyoming was shooting over 70%. So much for statistics. Lechner from 15 feet gets his second consecutive basket. Well, I think the only question if this guy doesn't go over 30 is if he's exhausted at the end of the game. Paul Kimball for two points. Had to pause for a moment because they didn't know where his feet were. That's seven for Kimball. Look at this, Loyola backed off a little bit. They'll try and jump you at half court now, but are they getting a little tired? Sean Dent feeding it nicely inside to Willie Jones. Missed the layup. And Mike Yost comes away with a rebound, take it away, and for turnover city. Hank Gathers winds up with the ball. Two consecutive turnovers, back to back. This is Enoch Simmons. For three, and he got it. Three points. I have never seen a basketball game like this ever. One ball club is under 40, another one's uh, over 70, and a team under 40 is winning by one point. That's the first lead of the ball game now for Loyola Marymount. They lead 43-42, loose ball. Here comes Marymount at the other end, and a foul, number three on Sean Dent. So three fouls on Sean Dett. Corey Gaines is on the LMU bench with his three fouls. Take a look. Sean Dent will make the grab right here, but it's like, get the number of that truck. I tell you, it's like a ping pong match. I look over at that uh, Wyoming bench. Unreal. Right, here we go again with Sean Dent out of Trenton, New Jersey with the grab. Williams back in the lineup along with Robin Davis now for Wyoming. And at the strike will be Bo Kimball. As you take a quick look at the uh, Wyoming bench, Greg Bo Kimball originally started out in Southern California. Rebounded by Clausel Williams. It is still a 43-42 lead for Loyola Marymount over Wyoming. Winner of this game will play North Carolina on Saturday. Carolina beat North Texas 83-65 in the first game. Robin Davis. A lot of athletic ability. Here they come, number break. All right, look at this, three fouls, and he's back in. Breyer missing the three-pointer, and he is fouled by Clausel Williams. Williams picks up his first foul. And Fryer will be at the stripe. Frank, this man has taken a tremendous gamble here. He's got Gaines back in with three fouls. And the way they play, where they're always reaching and grabbing, we got five minutes left in the first half. Hey, Westhead uh, has never been conservative, though. Fryer is a 64% free throw shooter, as you can see. 6'2 sophomore from Newport Beach. Suddenly, the Lions are up by a couple. Breyer has four points. Field goal percentage now, Wyoming 68%. Loyola Marymount 45%. Marymount's taken 10 more shots than have the Cowboys. Breyer going for his fifth point of the afternoon off the bench. And the Lions are up by one, 45-44, with five minutes to play in the half. Marzell Williams, Robin Davis. Davis out front with it to Turk Boyd. Boyd working on five. Davis being guarded by Corey Gaines, who's back in the ball game with those three fouls. Foul underneath. And it's on Bo Kimball. That'll be his second. See, what Paul Westhead has told his guy Gaines, make sure you don't get your fourth. But the problem is when officials are running up and down the court as quick as they are, as we look at Denny D's, you're running on your heels sometime, and you see things maybe uh, that don't happen. I mean, it's a big gamble by Paul. We've had four ties and three lead changes. And right now it's 45-44 Loyola, with Wyoming having a chance to go back out in front with Willie Jones at the strike. This guy's, this guy's a pretty good basketball player. 
Uh, we're tied, so he'll get the bonus and a chance to put Wyoming back in front. Could be another lead change if Willie Jones makes this free throw. Willie Jones is out of Detroit. He's a street player. He knows how to use his elbows. Now we have another lead change. It's Wyoming back in front, 67%, and Loyola, 45%. The turnovers, Wyoming's turned it over nine times. Loyola, only six. The rebounds stay with the Lions, 21 to 15. This is Gathers, their leading score. Short, Lechner has just picked up his second foul. So Hank Gathers, the 6'7 sophomore from Philadelphia, who has six points, will go to the strike. They call him Hank the Bank. Gathers is only a 56% free throw shooter. He shoots better from the field than he does the free throw line. He's had 194 free throw opportunities and canned only 56% of them. Smart move by Paul Westhead. Gets Gaines out of there, 4.22 left. He's right in this basketball game. And Gaines has got the three foul. Boy, I guarantee he throws up a brick from the line. He's 0 for 2 from the line. He has six points, but has missed both of his free throws. Just saw one of the assistants for Wyoming, Ray Jones, scribbling a note there. You know that uh, that's who they're going to foul if he gets out. Look at him. This is curveball spin. That looks like uh, King. That's, that's the way uh, Albert throws. One out of three. We've had six ties now in the ball game, and we're tied at 46. As Turk Boyd saves the basketball for Wyoming and penetrates and takes it to the hoop. And a player control foul on Boyd. And he was determined to go all the way with that one. Wow. Showed some athletic ability, but Loyola hanging right in there, getting that defensive position. All right, here it is, coast to coast. Boyd has played uh, pretty good. He'll pick it up, and he's just going to go right down the middle. It's like Tony Dorsett. First guy came over, didn't make contact, and the back guy takes the charge. Four minutes and six seconds to play in the half. It is 46-46. This is Mark Armstrong. He's back to the ball game. Gathers and Wyoming. And yes, Wyoming's down by two as Gathers gets his ninth point of the afternoon. Five lead changes. The latest sends Loyola Marymount in front, 48-46. Nine turnovers against the Cowboys. Fennis Dembo has two fouls. Fennis hadn't touched in a long time. He really hadn't. Kirk Boyd finally gets it to Willie Jones. Bo Kimball is on him. Lechner should be two. 6'11", 265 pounder, has 14 points. That's like stealing when he gets it down in the blocks. Here they come, number break. Look at this. Tied again for a moment. As Gathers, Gathers is starting to heat up now. The leading score has 11 points. See, people think that this team is not disciplined. They go to the same spots every time. I haven't seen them change at once. It's 50 to 48. Robin Davis, throwing away by Gathers. Loyola could take a four-point lead, or five. Kimball, calmly for three. Didn't get it. Rebounded by Willie Jones. Tried to throw it to Dembo, knocked away by Enoch Simmons, who winds up with a basketball. Kimball for two. Ball of Kimball. And suddenly the Marymount shooters have now heated up, and they lead by four. Watch out for both. If he gets on a roll, he's unreal. Biggest lead of the afternoon, four points for Loyola Marymount. Got to go down by 13. Excuse me, Frank. Got to punch it inside the lector. Swing it, get a move, and go inside the lector. Two minutes, 15 seconds to play in the half. 52 48. Dembo, nice move to the hoop. Good luck inside. Dennis has six. 52 50. We're getting close to the two minute mark. Kimball is hot. <laughs> Mark Armstrong has just committed his third foul. So Marymount has a little bit of a problem with Armstrong and Corey Gaines, each with three fouls. Bo Kimball has two. Gaines is going to come back in. All right, let's take a look at the action inside. Boards have been strong. Willie Jones gets fouled. Free throw's coming. You know, I looked up before today's game to see what the most number of points ever scored in a first or second round game. And it's 111. <laughs> so that's say that's in jeopardy right now. More shots you put up, the higher possibility you have winning. 24 fouls have been called in this ball game. 13 against Wyoming and 11 against Loyola Marymount. Willie Jones missing yet another one. Wyoming, after starting out very well, has missed three out of the last five free throws. 
games. Mike Yost, who's back to the ball game, and Dembo didn't quite get it out of bounds off of him, and Yost missed the shot. Here comes Turk Boyd. 52 50. In favor of Loyola Marymount. And the ball will go back to the line. Number 42, John Ferguson, big 6'10 junior from San Jose, right in front of us. Look at Benny Dees. Hey, it's tough. When the pairings came out, Benny said, you know, I watched them on TV and I laughed. Then all of a sudden I realized I got to play these guys. Turnovers 13 against Wyoming, 6 against Loyola Marymount. Kearney for 3. A flyer. A flyer for 3. This second three pointer of the day. He yeah. has eight points, and Loyola Marymount has their biggest lead, 55-50, with a minute and a half to play. Should go inside to Fennis Dembo, except Fennis is now on the perimeter. Lechner's out of there. Calls that Williams, feeding it back to Turkoy. A minute 13 to play in the first half, 55-50, Loyola Marymount. Nation's leading team in scoring, averaging 110.4 per ball game. They are halfway there right now. Hammered. Foul by Hank Gathers. His first. A little bit of bad blood there with yeah, Gathers and Dembo. Hank Gathers. That's the first foul on Gathers. All right, let's take a look. Once again, the game is inside for Wyoming. Fennis takes it in strong, goes up. Gathers comes over and gets a good foul. You're going to get one. Gathers will get you a good one. Gathers, number 44 for the Lions. A good ball, West Ham. And Fennis Dembo, who's 0 for 2 at the strike today. Normally is a, an 82% free throw shooter. And he gets a lot of opportunities, but today he's missed his only two. He was so good last year on this floor in the NCAA tournament against Virginia and UCLA. He was amazing. Bennis has seven points now. He's one out of three at the line. Averaging 20.6, 7.2 rebounds. Could cut it down to a three-point ball game. And does. Dembo has eight. 56 seconds to play in the half. 55 52, Loyola Marymount. Gathers, ball away, jumper for two. I'll tell you something, he's impressive. You, didn't, you wouldn't call that a high percentage shot, would you? <laughs> you know, now, Wyoming should go for the last shot, but I'm not sure Loyola will let him. Loyola wants him to shoot it quick, and you're just tempted to, to not pass on the puppies. There's the time remaining down to the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Dembo for three, doesn't get it. Well, I'll tell you what, Benny Deeds wasn't very happy with that one. Now, these guys should go for the last shot, but they're not going to do it. Enoch Simmons. And a foul called on Dembo, his third. Dennis Dembo has just picked up his third foul. And he comes with 16 seconds to play in the first half. That was a key possession instead of Wyoming going for the last shot and not letting Dembo get the third foul. And he's in trouble. 57 points, and we're still 16 seconds short of halftime. Dembo sits down with that third foul. As you look at 49-year-old Paul Westhead, who has won exactly 200 games as a collegiate coach. Mike Yost, who's one out of one of the stripe, will be trying to add to this... 57-52 lead. And up. This shows a good shooter. He gets good extension rotation. Davis back in. Robin played for Kent Tricky. Oklahoma Junior College a year ago and then transferred to Wyoming. Robin out of Maywood, Illinois. Comes back in with his 12 points today. Yost goes for his ninth and gets it. Mike Yost has nine points, and it is a 59-52 lead. 14 seconds to go. It's all Loyola right now. This thing is totally turned around. Did Yost get the tip? He's got a foul, too. That shot's good. This could be a 10-point ball game. All Loyola in the last minute. Did they count it? Yes. Basket is good, and he is fouled on the play by Turk Boyd. He'll have a free throw. Here it is. This all changed when it looked like it was going to be one shot left. Both ball clubs came down and pumped it up. Yost with an excellent stick back. He's going the line. He could give him a 10 point, make it a 12 point lead. 63 points for the nation's leading scoring team. Yost misses. But that's the end of the first half with the score, Loyola Marymount 63 and Wyoming 52.
to down. That's Reggie Fox with the ball, being hounded by Bo Kimball. Corey Gaines and Mark Armstrong each have three fouls for Loyola. And Wyoming has not been a good come from behind club in the second half, as you can see. Lechner hitting the side of the board, and Gathers getting the rebound. Kimball, almost an air ball, but Gathers there on the big side. Gumball with the turnover. Well, Kimball right there with him. That's Reggie Fox. See if they punch it inside once again. Loyola has done a much better job on this pick hit. Not that time. No backside help. He now has 16 points. He got the first eight points of the ball game for Wyoming. Then was quiet for a while and wound up with six more before halftime. He now leads all scores with 16. Frank, what we really want to pay close attention to is the fatigue factor. We watch the 10 players. We also watch the officials. If you're tired when you're officiating, you tend to let more things go. Plus, if it's noisy, you get your will broke. That's everything as important as the fatigue factor for players. Each team played 10 players in the first half. Shot missed by Corey Gaines. Rebound by Robin Davis. All right, let's see if they burn some time. Second half. They don't get back. Right back at him. Hank Gathers. It is 65 57. And we have 18 and a half minutes yet to go. Box of Wyoming. We're going to get a double foul inside. Dembo and Yost are killing each other. That would hurt Wyoming. Dembo's got three. Turnover against Wyoming. And let's see, in the first half, the Cowboys turned it over 15 times, so that's their 16th turnover of the day. This is Corey Gaines playing with three fouls, and Luckner knocked the ball away from Mike Yost, and I thought came very close to picking up a foul. Well, once again, remember what we talked about quickly? When you're a little tired, you don't blow as much. Bo Kimball, what a move inside. A tremendous effort by Bo Kimball. That is his 11th point of the day. Bo put up 10 in the first half, only made four. It doesn't matter, he's going to keep pumping. 10 point lead for Loyola Marymount. 17.55 remaining in the ball game. This is Sean Dent for Wyoming. Trying to get it to Lechner and does and comes down to Gaines. Kimball wide open for three. Well, he brings rain like Daryl Griffith. 6'5 sophomore from Philadelphia. Started out at Southern Cal. This is the biggest lead now for Loyola Marymount. They're up by 13. That matches a 13-point lead that Wyoming had early in the first half. Wyoming doesn't have it spread enough, so they can get it in the lector. And now they turn it over. Well, that is their 17th turnover of the ball game. And I believe Wyoming's going to call for the timeout. They are. 17 minutes and 18 seconds to play. That again, that ball actually was not touched by Loyola Marymount as the Wyoming coaches thought her. No, they just throw it away. They don't spread the basketball, or spread the floor, I should say, and they throw the basketball away. Is this amazing, Frank, how many shots Loyola has already gotten off? 55 shots, and we still have 17 minutes to play in the ballgame as you look at a very concerned hey, hey, Benny D's. Hey, Turnovers, Wyoming 18, Loyola only 7, steals, Wyoming 5, Loyola Marymount 13. Team. Cowboys have gone to their matchup. Look out for Bo Kimball here. Nice Jones. block. Blocked nicely by Willie Jones. And the Cowboys down by 13 now. Have to be pretty concerned. Let's see if they find Lechner. Dennis Limbo working on Yost. Dembo takes it to the basket and tipped it up and in. Didn't get the shot, but tipped it in. Here comes a numbered break. Corey Gaines. Put you in a hurry. You know, he does that off the wrong foot, too, like a Kiki Vandaway type shot. Makes it look easy. That's eight points for Corey Gaines, the 6'4 senior. 72 59. 
tell you something interesting. Loyola shoots it so quick that you can get back in it because they don't use any clock. A lot of teams, when they get the lead, they want to, oh, look at this, they throw it away again. And Benny Dees is beside himself. The wheels are coming off. 19 turnovers against the Cowboys, 19 of them. And that's what you'd call in tennis an unforced error on that one, wasn't it? Exactly. This is Yost. I still think his basket just before the half may have been the most important two points we've seen all day. Armstrong, early score and gets his first two in the second half. He has 13 points. That's almost double his average. 74-59, Loyola Marymount over Wyoming with 15-42 remaining. Timeout, Wyoming. So the 15. Winner of this one will play North Carolina, an 83-65 winner over North Texas State, and we've just had another turnover. That ball should come back. It didn't touch anybody. Here it comes. Benny Dees says, I can't believe it. That's 20 against Wyoming in the turnover department. 20 turnovers. Tell you who's in the building watching the game. Pete Newell went to Loyola. Pete Newell's one of the smartest basketball men we have in this country. He's got to be delighted for uh, his old school, the way they're up and leading. And Bo Kimball gives the basket in this foul. Well, Earl, let me ask you this. Are, do you believe in omens? Remember, it was 25 years ago in 1963, as we look at the replay again, that another Loyola team out of Chicago won the national championship. George Ireland's team. They could get it up and down the court, too. Kimball now has 16 points. He's missed his only free throw. 17. Yes, sir, it was in 1963. And didn't Loyola that year play the national championship game with just five players? If I remember, that's right. They played Cincinnati. Look at the turnovers. Wyoming has just been getting their pocket picked by this quick team. Willie Jones inside. And that is only the fourth basket here in the second half for Wyoming. Again, you know what? Bo has 22 assists on the year. Think of that. On the year. He didn't give it up. Willie Jones. Three on two. Nice. Nice play. Davis running the basket. What you're hoping for if you're Benny Dees is that Loyola cools off a little bit because you can get all the shots you want. Mark Armstrong. This guy is amazing. He wasn't supposed to be a shooter. He's supposed to be a rebounder. He has scored 15 points. That's double his average. Mark Armstrong and carried the ball club early. 79-63. Dembo posting up on gathers. Kimball gets his third foul. So three Loyola Marymount Lions have three fouls now. Kimball, Corey Gaines, and Mark Armstrong. Simmons will come in the first chance he gets. Kimball. Enoch Simmons. All right, let's take a look at the uh, transition game by the Cowboys. Willie Jones with the pass. Gaines tries to draw the charge, and then they go back to Davis for the jam. That was a great three-on-two break, wasn't it? Did a good job. Wyoming has done a very good job with their transition game. Loyola has just caused so many turnovers. They shoot it so quick. They use that numbered break. Dennis Dimbo going for his 11th point of the day, I believe. He has four buckets and three out of five now to strike for 11. It's amazing. 20.6. Frank Loyola has 79 points. We have 14.29 left in the game. The record for an NCAA tournament game, 113 set last year by North Carolina. But you got to believe that's in jeopardy here this afternoon. We still got 14.20 to play. Kimball. Air ball. Taken out of there by Willie Jones. Senior from Detroit. Off to Sean Dent. To Dimbo. Once again, you can score. If you can just get a stop or two, you can get right back in this thing. And Enoch Simmons. Enoch Simmons. He has five points. And it's 81-67. They shot that basketball that time in four seconds. <laughs> Well, they never use more than 10. I don't guess the clock's ever caught them all year. I, don't know. I wouldn't think so. Or if, they, uh, if they're ahead by one with 40 seconds left to go in the game, what if they stall in? Well, I doubt it. I think in one of their earlier ball games, somebody, nice pass into Lechner, and he missed the layup. One of their opponents didn't shoot or walk. 
He sure did. What are they, Loyola Marymount opponents earlier this year when the score was 98 with about a minute to play would not shoot a layup because they didn't want to give Loyola the chance to get 100. Yeah, and uh, Lynn Nance from St. Mary's wouldn't shake hands with him after the game, talking about Paul Westhead because he thought he was fouling him intentionally so they could uh, go over a certain mark. St. Mary's one of the better defensive teams in the country. That's only the eighth turnover of the afternoon against Loyola Marymount, 20 against Wyoming. The game should still be to punch it inside. Now, Loggins is in. Dembo's in there. They're double-posting it. Got to go inside. Put the decision on the officials if you're going to get back in it. Nice, easy jump shot by Reggie Fox. He now has five points in this half, seven overall. It's 81-69 with 13 minutes to play in the ballgame. Yost is fouled, and Dembo, I believe, just got his fourth. Should have been early, and, and the basket should not count. That is four on Fennis. He becomes the first player on either team to pick up four fouls. 13-03 remaining. If Loyola goes on to win this basketball game, be interesting to see what the next opponent, North Carolina, will do because every time they throw the basketball in, they throw it on the right side as Summers comes back in the game. They throw it on the right side, and uh, Wyoming hasn't choked that off yet. Irv, right now, Loyola is within two points of scoring as many points as any Wyoming opponent has for a full game all year long. 83 is the most they've given up in any good ball game. And Benny D's really brought him along on defense. He did a great job. I'll Jeff tell you something. That is his second, third three-pointer of the afternoon. And it is now 84-69. And with 12.53 to go, Loyola has now scored more than any other Wyoming opponent all year long. And I wondered early in the ball game when Loyola was hanging in there and shooting a terrible percentage, what would happen if they shot a decent percentage? Well, I'll tell you what has happened. They uh, have a big lead because of it. That is the uh, fourth foul on Corey Gaines of Loyola. Rebounded by Enoch Simmons ahead to Gaines. One on two. Good Logan block. The rebound. Good block. The putback by Fennis Jimbo. He has 16 points. It's a walk before the charge. Walk before the charge. No question about it. Benny D's isn't happy, but the travel came before the charge. Now watch this. There it is. He moves the feet. Then the charge comes. The whistle blows before the charge. In case of doubt, every official should do it that way anyway. Walk usually comes before the charge. Well, that is the ninth turnover against LMU. We've done a little checking, and uh, Georgia State scored 89 on Wyoming, so they have not yet reached the point where the most number of points has been equal. 89 by Georgia State is the most Wyoming's given up this year. All right, they got Lecter back in. It's 84-71. Dazelle Williams, Kirk Boyd, Eric Luckman. In and out, rebounded by Mark Armstrong. Well, anybody who worried about the altitude bothering LMU didn't, uh, just didn't uh, have it figured. Now well, they're holding up good, aren't they? They really are. This is as long as they've held the basketball. We're down at 30 seconds on a shot clock. Bo won't give it up. <laughs> gets it right back and gets the putback. This guy's got a lot of athletic ability. He's got no conscience. 19 points now for Bo Kimball, and it's 86-71. Benny D is sitting in sort of a relaxed position over the Wyoming bench. Hands behind his head. Legs folded. Left her inside, doesn't get it again. And a foul is called on Fryer. His first, third in the half against Marymount. Let's pick up the action. Here's Dent with the penetration. Goes to Lechner. The step up. Pretty good effort in there by uh, Hank Gathers. And then Clausel Williams, who uh, came on at the end of the year, gets fouled as we look at Benny D's. Benny had New Orleans in the tournament last year. Had a guy by the name of Eccles could play a little bit. Benny Davis watching his Wyoming team now trying to come back from a 15-point deficit. 11-32 remaining to play in the ballgame. Benny coached girls basketball college said that he went out and just kicked one lady coach bad, beat her by two points, and then married her. Offensive foul on Lechner. Did he get the basket or not? No, sir. No basket, but a foul. His third. 
Third foul against Lechner, two against Wyoming. Let's look at it again, Irv. I pick it up now. Lechner pins his opponent down. This is Yost. Now watch him hammer in there. There it is. It's a solid call. It's there. I have action again with Loyola Marymount leading by 15. 11-15 to play in the ball game. Here's the turnover. Robin Davis with the ball. That's Turk Boyd. Working North Ryan. Robin Davis again. Clock goes under 11 minutes. Davis with a nice move to the hook. He has 16 points. He's got a lot of athletic ability. Bo Kimball. A three. Wow. That's his third three-pointer of the day. He's got 23 points. Sean Dent. Back out there. 75. I've never seen a tempo like this. Get a chance to see a lot of college basketball games. Never have seen a tempo like this. Lechner gets it ahead to Turk Boyd after the turnover. Robin Davis. Knocked out of bounds, it belonged to Wyoming. See, that's not Wyoming's game, though. Loyola's forcing him to shoot it quick. They didn't have anybody under to rebound. Fox will come back in. Reggie Fox is in, and Hank, uh, Mark Armstrong is back in the ballgame for Loyola Marymount. Fox was recruited by Creighton, University of Colorado. Chose Wyoming. Hank Gathers goes off the court for Loyola. He has 15 points. Would have belonged to Wyoming. Ten minutes and ten seconds to play. It's 89 to 75. Look at those turnovers. 21 errors against Wyoming. 11 miscues by Loyola. The winner of this game will play North Carolina, an 83-65 winner over North Texas. What do you think a guy like Pete Newell or Henry Iba, uh, guys who uh, really uh, ran patterns, and what do you think they do against Loyola? Because I'll tell you something, this Westhead has got a very, very unique style. I thought Bradley ran it up and down the court till I got a chance to see these guys. Well, it certainly is a far cry from the national championship game of 1939. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That foul on Yost was his second. And while we're talking about that, how about John Wooden, who's had more success than anybody? What would he do against Loyola? Wyoming has had 18 fouls and Loyola Marymount 16. Reggie Fox gets another basket. He's had three this half, but it's still a 12 point lead for Loyola Marymount. Enoch Simmons for three. Rebounded by Willie Jones. Basket here. We cut the lead down to nine. The three quarters. Regular basket just still leave it at 10. See if they take it inside. Now Armstrong gives up five inches. You put your hands over your head with a basketball and they jump you right away because they, they really can't get much backside help. Willie Jones. Lechner. Lechner. We got, a, got ourselves a basketball game again. Let's see if they can get a stop. 18 points for the 6'11 postman for Wyoming. It's 89-79. Nine minutes to play. Armstrong missing the Lechner rebound. They've gone cold. Here comes the Cowboys. Last six points have been scored by Wyoming. 6-0 run. Davis makes it. Nope, doesn't get it. Put that pass behind by Turk Boyd. Eight points in a row by Wyoming. It's down to a seven-point lead. 8.45 left to play. See, I'll tell you, Jones got this foul, but Yost went over his back, and Benny Dees is going wild. The two kids just kind of got tangled up. Third team foul against Wyoming in the half. Third against Jones. All right, let's take a look. Now, watch him get tangled up. It's a it's a funny one right there. See, I'm not sure that's on anybody. I'm not sure you're not just better off passing on that. You don't have to blow the whistle. Loyola. Sean Dent back in the ball game for Wyoming. 8.45 still to play. 89-81. Loyola Marymount going for its 25th victory in a row. Wyoming trying to preserve its 10th victory in a row. Boys have scored eight unanswered points, and their fans are getting with it again. Gathers back to the ball game. Tough shot. Rebounded by Reggie Fox. And the Cowboys have a chance to score their 10th consecutive point without a reply from Loyola Marymount. Should punch it inside. Did a big horse. Eight 
minutes and 25 seconds to play in the game. 89-81. There it is. No basket, and the foul is going to be on Yost. That'll be his third. And it'll be number five against Loyola Marymount in the half. Good luck inside. Once again, Dent running the show. There's Yost with number three, as you mentioned. Here comes Turk Boyd back in. Last year, we'll get a couple of free throws. He's two out of three at the stripe. Has 18 points for the Cowboys. Still 8.22 to play, and we have, let's see, 170 points on the scoreboard. Live by the sword, you die by it. One of the problems with a system like Paul West had has put in is you don't take any time off the clock and you can't get back in it. Another turnover by the Cowboys. That's their 22nd turnover. And Loyola with a chance to break a 10-0 run by Wyoming. There's the lob and gathers it. That's a great pass by Yost. Boy, they needed something positive. Yost gave him a solid pass. 91-81. Loyola Marymount out in front. One pass too many, maybe. Sean, but wait, we've got a blocking foul called on Yost. Yost jumped in front of Dent. Here's the rule. You jump in front of somebody and he doesn't have the basketball. That's your responsibility. All right, here it is. Here's the, uh, oh, this is the tomahawk jam on the alley-oop. Boy, that was nice. One more time. Beautiful pass by Yost. Look at this backside. And I'll tell you, Gathers is up there in the rafters. Looks like Larry Nance. Gathers, a 6'7 sophomore. Here it is the third time. Why not? Three times. Uh, charm. Way to go. Mack up in the air and the jam. Back to play. Live action. 7.55 remaining. 91, 81. And the basket for the count. There's a foul. They have no answer in the blocks. If Lecter gets the basketball, the only way he misses it, he just can't bury it. Gathers getting his second foul. That is the 17th foul against Marymount. When he pins you down like this, you have no chance. You try and push him out a little further. Lecter's a little happy there. There's a big kid. He weighs 265 pounds. The fouls are even at 19 apiece in the ball game. Benny Dees walking and talking in front of the Wyoming bench. All this has happened when Dembo picked up his four fouls. The ball club seems to come back to the front. Lechner had foul problems against CSU in the WAC tournament, and Dembo took over that game. 21 points now for the big postman, 91-84. 7.48 still to go. Fryer for another two. I don't know if Fryer has missed today. He has three three-pointers and two conventional baskets. You know, it's amazing. You know, you work hard on a double pit, get a good shot, but you need every break from the officials. You play like this, and you play loose. Well, uh, they don't worry about it. They're in trouble. They just come down keep pumping. Well, there's little doubt that Marymount is on its way to a 100-point ball game with 7.39 to play. Lechner wouldn't go. Put back by Robin. Put back by Kirk Boyd and wouldn't go. Bo Kimball. Well, I'll tell you what, Bo Kimball had no idea that he was going to do anything but shoot a three-pointer. That's his fourth three-pointer of the day. He has 25 points, 96-84. Frank, that was a five-point swing. This big guy missed an easy one. This is another one. Gaines is fouled as he tries to get the steal, I believe, by Sean Dent. That's Dent's fourth. We got a 12-point game again. It was down to seven. We have 7.07 left to play in the ball game. And the number one scoring team in the country, Loyola Marymount, has a 96-84 lead over Wyoming. Earlier today, North Carolina beat North Texas State 83-65. Auburn has defeated Bradley 88-84. Memphis State downs Baylor 75-60, and Oklahoma beats Tennessee Chattanooga 94-66 in other NCAA first-round action. Gathers. Two more. They've got 98. That's seven in a row as they really come snarling back. Lecter's got the basketball in his office. He hasn't been able to operate. Dembo playing with four fouls. Six minutes, 41 seconds remaining on the clock. Wyoming cut it down to seven, but it's back to 14 again. The crowd is kind of quiet, too, right now. They're worn out. 
Lechner gets the follow-up. 23 points for the postman for Wyoming. Enoch Simmons. Lechner with a rebound. Out the pass. Dembo. Ahead to George Boyd for two. Great fast break. Coming right back at him. Classic fast break. The outlet pass from Lechner to Denbo, who then kicked it off to Turk Boy. Boy, that's what you got to have. In a team like this, Loyola Marymount, their Joe Montana is Armstrong. You got to have a strong outlet passer. He's done a nice job today. 98 88. Six minutes still to play in the ball game. Oh, travel. Wanted to throw it, thought better of it. That is turnover number 23 against Wyoming. The 11 against. LMU. A lot of people are a little unfamiliar with Loyola Marymount, Frank. They merged in 73. See, a lot of people think the school is in Chicago. It's uh, just a, a little ways from LAX. 3,500 students. Loyola Marymount leading 98-88 with 5.49 still to play. I don't think there's any doubt this will be the highest scoring game in the history of the NCAA playoffs. Lechner with a reach over foul. That'll be his fourth. So he and Fennis Dembo are each playing now with four fouls with 544 remaining. The Cowboys have a lot of tradition up there. They won it all, I believe, it was in uh, 43. Guy by the name of Kirk Gowdy wasn't too shabby. Kenny Sailors. Had some first round picks. Bill Garnett, Tuck Bradley. Nice. Yost makes it 100. That is his first basket of the second half. And it is 100 to 88. So for the 23rd time this year, Loyola Marymount has scored 100. This is their 31st game. Nice put back by Willie Jones. 6'6 senior out of Detroit. 190 points on the scoreboard and still 522 remaining. I believe I read somewhere the other day where this team is averaging more than 17 of the 23 teams in the NBA. <laughs> Go past. With eight less minutes for ball games. Yeah, Yost gets about. You know, there's nothing pretentious about it. We've talked about Kimball all day. Nothing pretentious about him. He's out there to do one thing, pump it. Willie Jones is fouled out. He's uh, played most of the time. That's, that's four. I beg your pardon. Let me correct myself. Lecter comes out for a quick rest. And at the stripe is Mike Yost, who really ignited his team with a last-second basket just before halftime. Yost with his fourth free throw of the day. He's four out of five at the stripe, has 14 points. He's on the uh, cover of the Lion basketball guy. He was the WCAC's top scorer rebounder last year now. He's fourth in scoring behind the big three that transferred uh, from the Pac-10. Well, we've had an 8-0 run now by Loyola Marymount. Got the ball in with their interior passing. Well, they just missed some shots. Wyoming has taken six more shots here in the second half than has Loyola Marymount. A lot of pressure in the fourth quarter. Under five minutes to play now. Wyoming is hitting 48% of the second half, and Loyola Marymount... 59%, so they've really heated up. 102-90, Loyola Marymount in front, 450 to play in the ballgame. Turk Boyd for three. Rebounded by Gathers. Winner of this game plays North Carolina on Saturday. There to save it was Jeff Fryer. You know, I haven't even thought to look at the shot clock any time that these two teams have had it today. I really needed to have it. Can't believe it's down to 20 seconds. You know, the shot clock probably came in because a guy by the name of Don Haskins, who's in the tournament, uh, playing Seton Hall, he used to give it to Tiny Archibald, and Tiny dribble around for uh, 10 minutes, couldn't get it back. Loyola with nine seconds to shoot. Can you believe this? Is this a first fight ever? Is the clock going to catch him? No, Corey. Nice. Oh, that's five. It looked like a pretty decent block. Sean's out on the ground. He's gone, too. Sean Dent has just committed his fifth foul. His teammates are hollering, take eight, Sean. Stay down. In the matter of three-point goals today, Loyola Marymount has hit eight out of 20. Wyoming only one out of seven. Look at that foul again. It was big league. Look at the shot clock was down to two. And there's Sean Dent. 
apparently they felt that uh, they get him, and Sean is out of there. He becomes the first player to foul out of the ball game with four points at the 4:02 mark. Sean Dent and Corey Gaines. One more time. Shot clock was down to two as they do use some clock. Wyoming fans thought that it was all basketball. Official doesn't see it that way. Benny is still howling. He's got a minute to make a substitution. And now he's going to put Reggie Fox back in. There's Sean Dent, the senior from Clinton, New Jersey. 102-90 in favor of Loyola Marymount. This ball club this year has now, as we said, scored 100 points in 23 of its 31 games. They've been over 140 three times. And Corey Gaines is at the strike to shoot up there. Corey Gaines started out at UCLA, played there a couple of years, transferred, and is now in his senior year at Loyola Maryland. Averaging better than eight assists per ball game. 103 90, under four minutes to play. Wyoming has not been effective from the three point line. They do have a guy who scored, though. Dembo is a very good three point shooter. Might have to start thinking about that. Two points for Reggie Fox. Fox has scored nine points here in the second half. It's 103 92 with three and a half minutes to play. They are using some clock. The first time we've seen him run any half court offense all day. Well, this changes things because you, you know, you think you can get right back in it, but if they use clock, it's tough now. We have three minutes and 15 seconds left to play in the ball game. It is 103-92. That's five on Fennis. Fennis is gone. Well, we wish to take this opportunity to thank NCAA Basketball Committee Representative Ken Free, our tournament manager, Ned Alger, tournament media coordinator, Bruce Woodbury, from the University of Wyoming Athletic Director Paul Roach, head basketball coach Benny Dees and his staff, and sports information director Kevin McKinney. And from Loyola Marymount University, Athletics Director Brian Quinn, Head Coach Paul Westhead and his staff, and Sports Information Director Barry Zeppel. Our appreciation to all of those and all of the others who have helped on our telecast this afternoon. Well, Fennis Dembo leaves the ball game with 16 points. The offended player will be back at the strike. He's been pretty quiet here in the second half after getting 11 first-half points. Rebounded by Robin Davis. Three minutes to play in the ball game. Davis for three. Robin Davis. That is only the second three-pointer today for Wyoming. It's now 103-95 with 250 to go. If you're thinking about fouling somebody to try and get the basketball back, Gavin would be the guy. Fryer shooting, getting his own rebound. 2.35 remaining in the ballgame. Hank gathers to Jeff Fryer. Running some clock. Good Leading defense. by eight. Foul is on Reggie Fox. Defense was good on the basketball. Fox with the uh, help picks up the foul. Number 25, Reggie Fox. Second now Corey foul. Gaines back in the lineup for the Lions of Coach Paul Westhead. Here it is. There's the entry pass. Yo shakes and bakes, goes one way, comes back. Lechner is all right. There's the contact with the hip by Fox. The senior from Chatsworth, California, Mike Yost at the free throw line. He is five out of six today. 81% free throw shooter. You can see why. He really gets good rotation on the basketball. 16 for Yost, and six out of six played their last two games on national television. They kind of like that. Yeah, they do. They won the net, won their tournament championship, and leading this one now, 104, 105, 95. Homie's got to score quick, and you probably have to foul Gattis. Nice move to the hook by Reggie Fox. This being seen, trying to press these guys. That might be trying to bottle smoke. 
Dwyer missing, and Yost and Lechner has also fouled out. Lechner becomes the third Cowboy to go to the bench. He'll leave with 23 points. Eye on the afternoon for the Wyoming Cowboys with 2.06 remaining. He follows Fennis Dembo and Sean Dent to the bench. There it is. They try to press him. Perimeter shot. That means a long rebound. Comes off. Yost has been sneaking around all day long, and he gets fouled by Lechner. Barrett gets a standing ovation. A lot of people from Western Wyoming drove over here. Well, singularly enough, all three of the Cowboys who have fouled out are graduating seniors. Venice Dembo, Eric Lechner, and Sean Dent. And it's no accident why they foul out. It's the style of play that makes you reach. As we look at a Wyoming bench, it'll tell you the score. They're down eight. 81% free throw shooter Mike Yost continues to add to his point total. He now has eight out of nine at the strike, 18 points overall. And it's 106.97. Well, I imagine a lot of folks watching around the country today, Irv, now believe this Loyola Marymount team is for real. Well, Jimmy Herrick, who coaches at Pepperdine, been around a long time, warned everybody this team is not a farce. They can play. What intrigues me, if this lead holds up, a pretty good coach will be in action here on Saturday if Jones gets a hoop. Talk about Dean Smith. You know he's going to have a battle plan for these guys. I imagine he's somewhere in the outer reaches of this arena right now watching this one as you look at Paul Westhead. And the, thing not, excuse me, the thing is not over, but you got to foul the right guy. Yost obviously is killing him. The guy who struggles at the line, well, Paul Westhead's got him out of there right now. I'm talking about Gathers. Willie Jones misses. It's 107 99. Got to shoot quick and then get the clock stopped. Boyd misses. Rebounded by Fryer. Fast break, two on one. Kimball, showtime. That's a charge. They'll count the hoop, but we go to the other end. Well, I'm going to tell you something. This Kimball was up on top of the square. 27 points for Bo Kimball. That's a good looking athlete. Greg Bo Kimball, a 6'5 sophomore from Philadelphia. Frank, look at him get up. I don't know what the vertical jump is, but look at this. I mean, he's looking down. There's a guy who fractured his kneecap, and they lost some ball games while he was out of there. They have never lost a game this year when he's in there. Oh. Fractured that kneecap exactly a week after practice began on October the 22nd. Came back in mid-December, and they started their 24-game win streak at that point, and they're on the verge of upping it to 25. For some reason, Williams makes 100 for Wyoming. For some reason, Bo and Gavis couldn't get along with George Ravelin, and they transferred. And as we've mentioned, Gaines transferred from UCLA. It's like the Pac-10 alumni out here. 109. Nice. 101. And there's a foul called on fire. I think he stepped out of bounds, Frank. Oh, did he? It's hard to see over there. All the Wyoming coaches are up, and they're helping. Benny says, I got a shirt. <laughs> oh, you're right. He did. He stepped out of bounds. Benny's got a million quips. Benny's all right. He just has run into a plus. So let's see if it's a one and one. Benny said yesterday at the press conference, he was talking about Lechner, and he said, exercise, if Lechner feels exercise coming on, he just lays down until it passes over. <laughs> that was good. It's been tough on Benny. High expectations There's as we look at Eric. Well, what a day he had. 23 points and a bushel basket of rebounds. This is number 21. The fouls now. 27 of them against Wyoming and 21 against Loyola Marymount. And Yost, who has really camped at that free throw line in the second half, is there again. This is his second free throw of the second half. Newark wasn't going to go. Oh, got his own rebound. Was that a great play? He knew he missed right away, and he immediately, with his instincts, goes to the basketball. He gets a fresh 45. Less than a minute and a half to play, and it's 109-101. Frank, you made a great point. Near the end of the half, Yost hit a stick back that was probably the biggest buck of the game. And right then and there, this hustle, we're going to show it to you. Watch, he, he realizes he misses it. He goes to the basketball. How many guys in America are that intelligent? Boy, this guy shows me something. That's a great shot. play. He just said, I'm out of here because i got to get that rebound. Well, you know you know where the ball's going to be when you're, you're shooting. Oh, listen, looky here. They get a foul on the back. This thing is not over. Now, you bury a couple here and foul somebody. You still got a breath. It's 109-101 with a minute 25 remaining. Four fouls and Armstrong. Armstrong picking up his fourth foul. 
But so far, Loyola Marymount has not fouled anybody out. Armstrong and Yost and Gaines and Kimball all playing with four. Bad deal. Wyoming gets caught here. They don't have a man on the second rebounding spot. 59% free throw shooter, Willie Jones. Makes it. It's 109-102. Now they get a break because the first shot is made. Fox gets in there. Why it's so important here so you immediately can get on the basketball and press. I think I... Yeah, it is Willie Jones at the moment. And he makes a couple. Got a foul right away. Stop the clock. There it is. Six-point lead for Loyola Marymount with a minute 23 remaining. Remember the year Jimmy Valvano won a national championship in Albuquerque by fouling people? He was dead in the water against Pepperdine. I believe up in Corvallis. So it does give you a chance. He's got to take it. Well, right now, Irv, this six-point lead is the closest it's been in the second half. Remember, it was 11 at halftime, and Wyoming now got within seven earlier, but they're now within six. This is as close as they've been. Mike Rost, who is 8 out of 10 at the strike, 81% free throw shooter. They got an interesting high five. They come up and high five, and then they kick each other. <laughs> that could hurt. It's 110 to 103. Still a minute 23 left to play. And the nation's leading scoring team now has 111. Got to pull up and shoot a three. There it is. Wyoming well, comes down with it. Billy Jones, a minute 10 to play. Chuck Boyd missing the three and got the foul. Turk Boyd crashing for the rebound, his fourth. Uh, a minute six remaining. Loyola Marymount leading Wyoming 111 to 103. What did we say the record was for two teams for a total number of points? Go pick that up. Let's take a look. Here's Turk with the shot, and he'll go in, and he gets on the back. 206 points is the record for two ball clubs together. Now we got 200 and... 14. Must be more than that, Irv. It was 113 to 97. What does that add up to? I was never good math. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> Two teams. Oh, my God. How about that? So gathers at the stripe. One out of three today at the free throw line has 19 points. Uh, Wyoming with the ball. One minute to play. Down by eight. Pop it. That's what they're yelling. Reggie Fox. Got the three. Now they got to go get on the basketball. Stop the clock. Got to hammer quickly. Five-point lead with 50 seconds to play. Bo Kimball with an easy layup. That should do it. Had a breath until Bowen makes one. Now then, as the foul is committed... Loyola Marymount has a chance to set that individual team record. We mentioned earlier that it was 113 by North Carolina last year. The most points ever scored in a first or second round game. And right now, Loyola has the 113 with 38 seconds, and they're at the strike. That game for the Lions, number 32, Enoch Simmons. Five fouls. Wyoming. And let's see who came back in for Wyoming. Kurt Samuels, number 11, is in the ballgame now for the Cowboys. So Benny, uh, give Rod Tyson also in for Wyoming. Tyson's from Laramie. Mike Yost, who has shot 12 free throws today and made 10 of them. That breaks the record. So the record established by the team that they will play next if they hold on to win this one. North Carolina, 114, the most points ever scored in an NCAA first or second round game. Make it 115 to 106. Tyson gets his own missed shot. Gets a three. Did a good job. Let's see if they can hammer quickly. It's not impossible. Two three-pointers. That's an intentional, intentional foul. foul. And the rule is simply this. You get the shots and the ball out of bounds. So Clausel Williams committing the intentional foul will give Marymount two shots plus the ball. Well, the folks across the country watching this one today can say they've seen the highest scoring game in 
NCAA first or second round history, 115 to 109. And Loyola Marymount bidding fair to win its 25th game in a row. 32 fouls against Wyoming, 22 against Loyola Marymount. Yost has shot 15 free throws and has made all the two of them. 16 and has made 14 of them. Boy, is he intelligent. He knows how to play. He had a couple moves today that were big league. 26 points for Mike Yost. Back into the lanes, number 21. The last time Wyoming lost was over here in this state. They lost at Provo against BYU. 26 seconds to play. Lazell Williams for three. But they haven't quit. No, well, they sure haven't. It's a five-point lead. Fryer across the timeline. But time is running up. And it'll be a two-shot foul. Oh, one and one. One and one. Robin Davis. Two fouls on Davis. Robin Davis commits the foul. Penny Dees had an outstanding year no matter how this one comes out and doesn't look very good for right now the 26 games are the most ever won by a cowboy team they started out and they won 13 in a row then lost two down in albuquerque and el paso one of the meanest swings in america lost at home to byu the program was at its lowest they have lost at csu in fort collins then back they came strong on 13 or 14 and ran into a buzzsaw today Fryer, who has now scored 16 points off the Loyola bench. And with six seconds to go, it's 119 to 112. Well, the, uh, the Lions now have upped their average to over 110.5. So they now officially are the highest scoring team in college basketball history for this season. Reported by the Brazil Williams. That wraps it up, 119 to 115. So Loyola Marymount scoring 119 to Wyoming's 115 will move on to play North Carolina on Saturday. Winning this one by four and being sparked by Bo Kimball who wound up with 29 points. 119 to 115 will be back.